Hi y'all, welcome back to By Devin Nails. You can stop by here for nail inspiration, unboxings, and crochet alongs. I'm so glad you're here. If you like what you see, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. Today I'm using I Dipped That. I'm using Chow, which came from an earlier release this spring. It's a gorgeous teal color. And I'm using Raspberry, this amazing jelly. And it's a full color jelly, which I absolutely love. Extra ice I thought about using, and you can see it's just gorgeous here, but then at the last minute I decided it was a little too much for this Manny, but you got a little peek of it. And Grape Slushy, it is actually really shiny. You saw it in the swatch stick, although in the little thing it looks not as shiny. And this is my inspiration. So I'm in a collab that needed neon retro. So I'm trying to be inspired by that last picture. Remember to subscribe to see more. So I'm gonna start out with Chiao. I'm gonna do a full nail of that beautiful teal. Um, I think it matched so well with that inspiration photo. And then I'm gonna go in with a full nail of Grape Slushy. This is my first time using this color. And so many other people um, in our ambassador group have used it to show it off. It is releasing this Friday on June 30th. And it is a really pretty dip. So it's got this fine purple and a dark blue in there. And then the larger chunkies. And then I'm going to do a color blocking pattern on the middle and the ring finger using my striping tape here or my color blocking tape. It's a lot like painter's tape. I'm going to create kind of this um, right angle effect and I'm going to put it in the middle and have it kind of um, pointing to each other to kind of mimic those triangles that were in my inspiration photo. And I'm gonna end up using three colors on these nails. So I'm gonna use um, Chow, Grape Slushy, and um, Razaid. And I think it's gonna look really, really great. And Grape Slush and Razaid are going to be released on 6:30, so you can almost get them depending on when you're watching this video if you're watching when it first dropped yay for you <laughs> um, but if you're watching a little bit later you probably can already um, get them as long as it's after june 30th i was super excited when they released these colors for the summer refreshers along with these really gorgeous um glitters which you saw the extra ice at the beginning which I decided not to use for this fanny just because I thought it was a, a little more than I needed um grape slushy and then razzed and then there is a second blue color they go so well together and what made me most excited was that razzed and blue razz are jelly colors but unlike some of the jellies or a lot of the jellies that I see they are not a pastel they are a full color and they're super bold and they're great for our bold manis this summer and they're gonna look great as a peekaboo I did a peekaboo with them um, last week that I posted the other day unfortunately I didn't make a video of it so I have no evidence that I actually made it only the final results <laughs> All right, so here I'm going to go in with Chow again at the bottom to create this color blocking pattern. I think that Grape Slushy and Chow just go so well together. It's not a color combination I probably would have come up with on my own, but when I saw the colors in that inspo picture, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so perfect. And I thought it was a great look for this neon retro collab that I was doing on Instagram. If you are ever in a situation where you are having Manny Block, I cannot suggest enough going to Instagram and looking for those Instagram collabs and the Instagram collab challenges. So there are some that you kind of like end up in like a chat group and you can talk to each other and everyone is sharing pictures and inspiration and I love that. Then there's also some, um, there are actually many people on Instagram who will post kind of a flyer of like, here's the four themes for this month and then each month the themes change and all you have to do is post it on the day or some have like a dateless format and you just put a hashtag. And some of the groups um, re-tag those and repost them on like a group page. Some come by and comment. I just think it's a great thing to do if you're running into, I don't know what to do for this Manny. You don't have to be into like a lot of the nail, like super um, complicated nail art like some people do. 
stamping or freehanding or decals, but you can even just do colors that are inspired by whatever the theme happens to be. And I do that all the time when I'm having many blocks. So if that is something that you're encountering, you're like, I just don't know what to do. Look for those nail um, challenges and collabs because they're super fun. And you get to work with this like great community, especially the ones that have the chat rooms. All right, so I'm almost done with this mani. It actually went together really fast. I'm just gonna put that Raz Aid into the, mil into the middle here. And this is where I had thought about doing um, the extra ice to add a little bit of sparkle to Raz Aid. But then with Grape Slush, I just felt like it didn't really need it. I was just gonna let it be the star of these, what end up being like these giant squares. So they're, they're triangles on each nail, but then when they kind of are next to each other, they look like this big square. And I really, really like that. Like I said, it is a jelly color, so it is going to have a little bit more translucentness to it. So it would be a great place to have a peekaboo. I used it in a peekaboo, um, like I said earlier this week, and it just looked great. But it also is going to build on itself. So I do do two to three layers here to get that full cut of color that I want to match the full color and coverage of the other colors. Oh, this is my favorite part. When you go in to do that second coat and you can see how pretty it is. Grape slushy, I feel like is definitely one of those dips that looks way different with the top coat and um, then it looks inside the jar. Like in the jar, it almost looked like it was gonna be this matte um, glitter, but it does have so much shine to it. That's really, really nice. So today I'm using my Diplomatic Low Odor Liquids, and this is a great set of liquids. Um, it has just the right amount of dry time for a color blocking look like this. You saw a few minutes ago, I was using my thumb to kind of push a few pieces of glitter and a few pieces of dip that had gotten into the wrong spaces. I would say that it's a medium dry time. Um, it's not slow though. I know that some low odor liquids get a rep of being slow drying, which is great for some techniques, but I am just a little too impatient. So I need something that's going to dry either fast or a medium. So I think that this is a really good dry time. So if you've been looking for low odors, but you don't want a slow dry time, this is really good. So these are Diplomatic's low odor liquids. I have the three piece set. So it's the base, the activator and the top coat and they're all low odor. Um, and you can get though from Diplomatic a top coat that is gel. So if you prefer a gel top coat, you can make that choice. Um, I believe that they also have a full line of gel on the Diplomatic website, but you would wanna check that to verify. So I'm gonna go in and I only needed two layers of chow. It went on so beautifully. It is definitely a great full coverage. And I'm gonna finish up these color blocking nails. Oh, look at that shine of grape slushy. It's so good. This could eat, grape slushy could easily be a one color mani because it's just so pretty and dynamic. Um, it's a really, really pretty color. And I feel like it's different than other things that I've seen. I have lots of purples and I love purples. There's something about it's almost like a moody purple that I really, really like. And I think it balances out the Razade um, really well because it's such a bright um, pink, but then it does have those purple tones, which go so well with it. All right. So this is looking excellent. I'm super happy with how these look. Um, they're not streaky at all. I'm going to get off some of the extra here so that we're ready to move on to our next step. And I am gonna put just a little bit more of chow on this one with this color blocking to make sure that it got into all of those spaces. You can just tell here how soft and smooth the eye dip that um, dips are because I'm not even gonna really have to go in and do any buffing, but I am gonna put a clear top coat just to protect my color and those sparkles. And I love to use KMG's Clear as Day. I think it's one of the best on the market. I've never had any problem with it being dull or it being cloudy. 
So if you're looking for a great clear, I would highly recommend um, Clear as Day from KMG. I just do one layer, especially when I don't have a super chunky um, glitter and Grape Slushy has a few big chunky pieces, but it is not a full like super chunk. Um, so it's a great dip and it's really only going to need one little clear layer. I do sometimes push down any big chunks, but I didn't need to on this one at all. I'm just loving how these look. I think they're going to get um, a lot of compliments too because they're a little bit different of a summer look because of that moody purple from Grape Slushy along with that kind of bright, vibrant pink from Razade. All right, I almost dropped that one. <laughs> And I use a big fluffy brush and then I'm going to come in with my stiff brush after I've done a layer of clear on all of them. And I try to make sure that I um, move my brush when I'm doing my clear in both directions just to get under any spaces. Just really get everything a nice little layer on there. And the last one little chow. I think having the thumb in the pinky like this creates such a great anchor on a mani, especially when there's something like visually that you want people to see in the middle. It kind of like draws their attention in by being these solid colored anchors. So there I am going in with my um, more coarse brush, stiff brush, and then I'm activating... And the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm thinking that Chow could be really pretty with a bait, with a matte top coat. All right, so I'm going to wipe these all down with alcohol after activating. And then I'm going to go in and get them ready to have a perfect little top coat application with just a little bit of buffing here. Most of the buffing that you're seeing was really more about getting any dip that had gone underneath the tips. And then I go in and I'm just doing my first layer of top coat after one more layer of activate. So here we go with the top coat. And I found with these diplomatic ones, I actually don't wipe off that second layer of top coat. I think maybe because they're a low odor, I have not had a problem with contaminating my top coat. So when I'm using my other dip liquids, I do use alcohol to wipe off the second layer of top coat, anything that didn't soak in. But with these, I have not needed to do that and I've actually felt like that process has sped up the dry time for the top coat, which is a little bit slower. Look at them. Oh, I'm just loving it. So, so pretty. And here is the final look. Thanks, y'all, for stopping by. This has been by Devin using I Dipped That. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.